Hello everybody and welcome to another wonderful music time together. Today we're going to start with our devotion as always and it's going to be about angels. So first I'll read a short devotion and then I've got a few songs for you. Angels are heavenly messengers sent by God. An angel named Gabriel was sent to tell Mary about the birth of Jesus. Daniel told us of an angel sent by God to save him from the lions. An angel encouraged Gideon by saying, God is with you. Peter was in prison, bound by chains, when an angel appeared and the chains fell off. The Bible says that God commands the angels to guard you in all your ways. One thing we know for sure, they are always sent by God to protect and comfort. As you sleep tonight, God's angels will watch over you. And our Bible verse is Psalm 91 verse 11. For he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. Now before I sing a song and let you listen to another song, I would like to show you some of the angels that I have. A lot of friends have given me angels over the years and it's a very comforting thing. So I'll start with these two angels that I have hanging up in my house. I have a lot, but I'm only gonna show you four today. So I've got these two angels and as you can see, they both have bodies and hair and, and wings and that's pretty much how we envision angels. Is that what angels really look like? We really don't know. But it is a good thought to have in our head that they are sent to comfort and protect us. So I do have these hanging up in my house. Also, a lot of times angels are pictured with a musical instrument. And that's my favorite, of course. And this angel is holding a harp. And the harp has such a beautiful, comforting sound. And I think that's why, that's why we say, oh, angels are probably playing harps. So this is such a, a, a beautiful reminder of God as well. And then I'd like to show you one of my very special angels. And that's because a friend of mine made this angel for me. She carved it out of a piece of wood, very talented. And then she took some wire and some beads and crafted some wings. And I think that's it's very special. I'll just turn it around so you can see. In the back, just amazing that somebody can carve that out of a piece of wood. I'm really impressed with this piece of artwork. And it's also a reminder, again, of how God sends his angels, they're his special messengers, and to comfort and protect us. So I'd like to sing a song right now that a lot of you might be familiar with. It's called Angels Watching Over Me. It is an African-American spiritual, and I sing a lot of spirituals. And if you remember, I've said that a spiritual is a religious folk song created by the African-American slaves. So you are going to get to see the words while I sing the song. And it's so very simple. If you would like to do some actions with it, they're also very easy so that it would be all night, all day. Angels watching over me, my Lord, all night, all day. Angels watching over me. So we have our prayer hands, and when we hear the word angels, they go up and around and back together again. Very simple during our refrain or our chorus. So if you'd like, please do the actions, but Take a look at the words and sing along with me. There are a couple of verses. Here we go. Over me, my 
more time. God has sent his special protectors and helpers to comfort us. I like that. I like that thought. Well, I'd like to play another song about angels right now, and it's called When the Angels Call Me Home. And in this song, when you listen to the words, you, you, know, you can sing along, of course, but I really want you to listen to them and ask yourself your question, am I always doing my best? Because we don't know when God is going to call us home. It could be a very, very long time from now. Could be sooner than that. And so we have to ask ourselves, am I always doing my best? Am I doing what I'm supposed to be doing? Am I leading a life like Jesus wants us to live? So think about that as you hear this song, When the Angels Call Me Home. Here are the words. a beautiful song when the angels call me home all right well I would like to teach you another very simple song uh, with some sign language and it's called Jesus in the morning some of you might have already heard this song and actually you already know the sign for Jesus so that'll be pretty simple to do so the song goes like this what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you some signs so Jesus we already know that and then when we do the sign for morning, we're going to be taking our hand and bringing it up, kind of like the sun going up. So one, our, our left hand is holding our elbow, and it's coming up Jesus in the morning. And then when we do noontime, all we have to do is we switch our hand on top of our arm, and we put our hand straight up like this, noon, because the sun is directly overhead of us, at noontime, and then sundown, we take our 
thumb and pointer finger put it together and then we just have the arm go down so that's pretty easy Jesus in the morning noontime and sun goes down so I'm gonna do that and try to do those signs with me these these I think are pretty easy to do so here's how the song goes goes like this Jesus 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 in the morning Jesus at the noon time Jesus 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 when the Sun goes down let's try that again just very simple because you already know the sign for Jesus here we go Jesus 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 in the morning Jesus at the noon time Jesus 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 when the Sun goes down now instead of singing the word Jesus we sing the word love we already know that sign if you've been watching my previous lessons you know this is the sign for love so that's what we're going to do when we sing love him it'll go love him love him love him in the morning love him at the noon time love him love him love him when the sun goes down well then we can serve him and we just take our hands and push them out it's like we're using these are helping hands serve him serve him serve him serve him in the morning serve him at the noon time serve him serve him serve him when the sun goes down well then we do the word praise and when you do praise it's just your like it's like you're clapping but you don't have to make any sounds with your hands it's just clapping so we'll go praise him praise him praise him in the morning praise him at the noon time praise him praise him praise him when the sun goes down and let's finish it with jesus again here we go jesus 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 in the morning jesus at the noon time jesus 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 when the Sun goes down I hope you tried doing those signs and you keep on learning all of those signs and you can always go back to previous lessons and take a look at some of the other songs that I've done as well well now I'd like to talk to you about a special day that's coming up and that is coming up this Monday on May 30th and it is Memorial Day I'm going to be doing a couple of songs in just a minute but I'd like to first of all show you a picture all right so I'll show this picture and I'm going to just talk about a little bit about the history of Memorial Day uh, the Civil War in this country where the North was fighting the South took place 1861 to 1865 and in 1865 after the war was over there was a group of freed slaves who decided to hold some kind of a memorial for their Union soldiers in Charleston, South Carolina. That's the first evidence we have of any kind of celebration or a commemoration. And then in 1866, there was a larger group uh, that honored all the Civil War soldiers who died, and they didn't call it Memorial Day. 
they called it Decoration Day because they would go to the cemetery and they would put flags on it, they would put flowers, and that's why they called it Decoration Day. The very first national celebration took place in 1868, and that was in Arlington, Virginia. There's a huge cemetery there, and again, putting lots of flags and flowers on the graves. And then after World War I, uh, around 1918 or so, they decided that Decoration Day should also honor anybody who has given their life for this country. It didn't have to be just the Civil War. And so now we honor all the men and women who have given up their lives to protect our freedoms. So if you look at the words here, celebrate, honor, and remember. That's really what Memorial Day is all about. And then in 1971, it was declared a federal holiday. It's, and it's always going to be the last Monday in May. And that's, again, all who died in an American wars, men and women. And there's one thing I'd like you to do next Monday. At three o'clock in the afternoon, it's what we call a national moment of remembrance. I want you to just, if you remember, just stop and think about all those people who give up their lives so that we can be free here in this country. So what I'd like to do for you right now is I'd like to play a song called The Battle Hymn of the Republic. I am going to be showing you the words. And when you see the words, you're going to notice there's a little red star. That is going to tell you that that is the refrain. And that's going to be repeated in between each verse. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Just a little bit of history. The words for this were written in 1865 by a woman named Julia Ward Howe. She went and she visited some Union soldiers camps and she was really impressed by what she saw, how they were fighting for the freedom of, of the slaves. And uh, she decided to write this poem and then the music was just one of those songs that had been around for a long time called Say Brothers, Will You Meet Us? So somehow those words and that melody came together and we have this song, Battle Hymn of the Republic, which is a pro-union, anti-slavery song. So I'm going to play it for you right now. You get to, you get to hear the, see the words. So we'll put the words in front of you right now and I will cue up the music.
Wow, what a stirring rendition of a wonderful song, Battle Hymn of the Republic. I'd like to do one more song for you. I'm seeing that coming, Memorial Day is coming up. This is a song called God Bless the USA. And there's one line, there's a couple lines in here uh, where it says, and I'm proud to be an American where at least I know I'm free. And I won't forget the men who died who gave that right to me. Now, what you're going to notice in the words that I, have, that I have up for you, these are the original lyrics, but the, the song that you're going to hear changes the word men to ones because both men and women have given their life for this country. So I just want you to be aware of that as you're looking at the words. And then at the very end, uh, where it says that I'm proud to be an American, we're going to, uh, you're going to hear that two times. So God bless the USA. Here are the words, and I am going to cue up the music. What do you... song God bless the USA so remember honor and celebrate especially those who gave their life for our freedom but also you know if you know of anybody who is in the Army the Navy the Marines the Air Force the Coast Guard men and women who are you know serve and protect our country say thank you to them you know uh, it's a day that we remember we remember three o'clock. Have a blessed week, everybody. Be safe, be healthy. God bless you.